I'm Miss Eiley from the Yonkers Library in New York, but for now I'm at home with all of my favorite books, and I'd love to read them with you. Let's sing our welcome song, shall we? Welcome, welcome everyone, now you're here, let's have some fun. Stories old and stories new, fun for me. Today, we are reading about ballet, and our first story is called Angelina Ballerina by Katherine Hollibird with pictures by Helen Craig. More than anything else in the world, Angelina loved to dance. She danced all the time and she danced everywhere, and often she was so busy dancing that she forgot about all the other things she was supposed to be doing. Angelina's mother was always calling to her, Angelina, it's time to tidy up your room now, or please get ready for school now, Angelina. But Angelina never wanted to go to school. She never wanted to do anything but dance. One night, Angelina even danced in her dreams, and when she woke up in the morning, she knew that she was going to be a real ballerina someday. When Mrs. Mousling called Angelina for breakfast, Angelina was standing on her bed practicing curtsies. When it was time for school, Angelina was trying on her mother's hats and making sad and funny faces at herself in the mirror. You're going to be late again, Angelina, cried Mrs. Mousling. But Angelina did not care. She skipped over rocks and practiced high leaps over the flower beds until she landed right in Mrs. Hodgepodge's pansies and got a terrible scolding. At playtime, she twirled and spun across the playground so fast that none of the little boys in her class could catch her, and they were all very cross. After school, she did a beautiful arabesque in the kitchen and knocked over a pitcher of milk and a plate of her mother's best cheddar cheese pies. Oh, Angelina, your dancing is nothing but a nuisance, exclaimed her mother. She sent Angelina straight upstairs to her room and went to have a talk with Mr. Mousling. Mrs. Mousling shook her head and said, I just don't know what to do about Angelina. Mr. Mousling thought a while and then he said, I think I may have an idea. The same afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Mousling went out together before the shops closed. The next morning at breakfast, Angelina found a large box with her name on it. Inside the box was a pink ballet dress and a pair of pink ballet slippers. Angelina's father smiled at her kindly. I think you are ready to take ballet lessons, he said. Angelina was so excited she jumped straight up in the air and landed with one foot in her mother's sewing basket. The very next day, Angelina took her pink slippers and ballet dress and went to her first lesson at Miss Lily's ballet school. There were nine other little girls in the class and they all practiced curtsies and plies and ran around the room together just like fairies. Then they skipped and twirled about until it was time to go home.
Congratulations, Angelina, said Miss Lily. You're a good little dancer, and if you work hard, you may grow up to be a real ballerina one day. Angelina ran all the way home to give her mother a big hug. I'm the happiest little girl in the world today, she said. From that day on, Angelina came downstairs when her mother called her. She tidied her room and she went to school on time. She helped her mother make cheddar cheese pies. And she even let the boys catch her on the playground, sometimes. Angelina was so busy dancing at Miss Lily's that she didn't need to dance at supper time or bedtime or on the way to school anymore. She went every day to her ballet lessons and worked very hard for many years. Until at last she became the famous ballerina Mademoiselle Angelina and people came from far and wide to enjoy her beautiful dancing. And that is the end. Now how about we sing a song from Scotland that's about dancing and it goes like this. Step we gaily on we go, heel for heel and toe for toe, arm in arm and row on row, all for Mari's wedding. Over hillways, up and down, myrtle green and bracken brown, past the shield and through the town, all for the sake of Mary. Step we gaily on we go, heel for heel and toe for toe, arm in arm and row on row, all for Mary's wedding. Our next story is about another little girl taking ballet and it's called Harriet's Recital by Nancy Carlson. Harriet loved her ballet class. Except for one thing. Once a year, the class gave a recital. Harriet hated recitals. You'll do just fine, Harriet, said Miss Betty. No, I won't, said Harriet. I'll trip. All week long, Harriet worried about the recital. When she took a bath, she thought about falling. When she saw her mother sewing her costume, she worried that it would rip. At last, the big day arrived. Harriet was terrified. She knew she would never remember her dance. The whole thing was a big mistake. Everyone else in her class was ready. Miss Betty was welcoming the audience. I can't do this, said Harriet. And the class danced onto the stage. Just take a deep breath and relax, said Miss Betty. I can't, said Harriet. On you go, said Miss Betty. 
Oh no, said Harriet. Take a deep breath, Miss Betty whispered from off stage. Harriet took one deep breath, then another. She took one step, And then one more. And then she was dancing. You were wonderful, said Harriet's father. Were you frightened? said Harriet's mother. Not a bit, said Harriet, and they all went out for a soda. And that is the end. And now it's time for us to say goodbye. Can we sing our goodbye song? Ready? Goodbye, goodbye, 